Hi, it's Chris Titley here. It's part of the Morgan's Conversations. We're here with Chris Stott, Chief Investment Officer of Wilson Asset Management. Chris, thanks so much. Thanks, Chris. Chris, can you tell us a little bit about the history of Wilson Asset Management and the performance? Wilson Asset Management has been going for almost 20 years now, and we've got uh, six listed investment companies that we manage across uh, various uh, parts of the uh, Australian market, uh, with our flagship product, WAM Capital, being the, uh, L, the longest uh, serving product, been going for uh, almost uh, 17 years, delivering uh, almost 80% uh, return per annum since inception. And the f- investment philosophy that you take, long-term holdings and, and the default being cash? Both. So we look both short and long-term. We've got two different ways of managing money. First is our what we call our research-driven process. It's fundamental bottom-up stock picking, predominantly uh, in the, obviously across the Australian market. And then secondly, the market-driven process which is more short-term opportunistic trading, arbitrage opportunities, takeover opportunities, uh, etc. And you launched the microcap fund recently? Launched that in June, uh, WMI is the ticker. Uh, we raised just over $150 million, uh, focusing on investing in companies in that under $300 million market cap space, and we're off to a pleasing start. The uh, share price uh, is trading at a 17% premium to NTA, uh, four months uh, into, uh, down the track, uh, and the portfolio has generated just in excess of 10% uh, in its first four months. So we're very, very pleased with uh, the, uh, the start that WAM microcap has made. And in regards to the leaders, there's some uh, news coming up? WAM leaders have their options expiring uh, next month on the 17th of November and uh, WAM leaders, uh, as some people have said to us, is the cheapest of all our WAM LICs at a slight discount to NTA with all the others that have been at quite large premiums uh, to NTA. So we, we have become aware more recently uh, of some market participants looking to uh, have been arbitraging the options, putting artificial weight uh, on the headstock being WLE, uh, so we'd expect that uh, once the options, uh, which are in the money, two or three cents in the money, once they do approach or get past that expiry period, that that will certainly see or have that pressure come off the uh, WLE share price. And Chris, some, uh, some tips at the moment that uh, WAM are involved in? We've taken a, a reasonable bet in the mining services sector in the last three to six months. So particularly in that micro cap end of the market, we like companies like Emico, Boom Logistics, uh, Mitchell Services is one that we've uh, initiated a position in more recently in the last few months. So that mining services space, that's in the micro cap end. Uh, in the more larger cap uh, end of town, we like companies like uh, ALS Group. They, we think they're really well positioned and Wally Parsons as well. Uh, we think are two in that more mid to large cap end that, uh, that fit our investment criteria been a bit of a sector that's been beaten up over the last few years now you you think the cycle's turned we think there's the most amount of value at the moment is in that mining services sector we are of the strong belief that we have now entered the next uh, mining upswing uh, certainly we don't believe it will be as strong as what we saw uh, over 10 years ago but certainly we think that there's uh, still really good value uh, in that part of the market uh, really under owned into the market still and we're still finding some great opportunities uh, right across the, the market spectrum Chris thanks so much for the chat thanks for having me